Hi everybody, this is Dylan with Ellis Home and Garden in Longview. I'm coming to you guys today with uh, one of our decorating videos. We've had a good response on all of our videos in the past that we've done during the Christmas season. Um, this is the first time that you're joining us. We've done uh, past videos. We've done um, decorating videos for our mantles. We've done a, a tree video. We've done one for um, uh, bows and wreaths. So today we're coming to you with a mantle video for the Mardi Gras season. Mardi Gras will be here before you know it. And now that Christmas is over, it's a great time to repurpose those materials that you use during the holiday season and ball on a budget if you're like me and use those for your decorating for the Mardi Gras season. So I'm going to show you guys today how to transform your mantle now that you've taken all of your Christmas decorations down. Your house is probably naked and bland like mine. And we're going to spruce it up and use some of our existing materials and decorations that we had left over from our holiday decor. And we're going to use Mardi Gras to really spruce it up for the next upcoming season. So we're gonna try and do these videos, guys, as the holidays progress and as we, you know, up, upcoming holidays, you know, get closer. So we're gonna do Mardi Gras, we're gonna do kind of Valentine's decor, Easter. So guys, as you watch today, if you have any questions or comments as we, um, you know, go through the video, please put your name or where you're watching from in the down bar below. Any questions or comments that you have, and Dina is videoing for me again today, guys. And any questions that you have, she's gonna relay those to me. Anything that you'd like to see, any comments that you have, Put those down below because we'd love to know where you're watching from in the world today and anything that you want to know. So guys, we're going to start off by um, just talking to you about what we have here on the mantle to start off. Um, if you had an existing Christmas garland on your mantle before, because it is just, you know, today is just the 3rd of January, the 3rd, I'm make sure the day's right, <laughs> then you probably have just taken your Christmas garland down or you already have it up there still. So you can use your existing Christmas garland, you can take all of your decorations off of it and then leave your blank garland. So what I have actually done here is, oh, this guy is staring at me. Anyway, we have taken um, our Christmas garland completely down and I have created something a little bit different and I'm gonna show you how I did that today. And I have taken actually a, a teardrop. So this is just a Christmas teardrop and as you can see, it starts off wider at the top and it gets slimmer at the bottom. And these are on sale, guys, and this is one of our Christmas teardrops, which are 75% off, so this makes it only $6.00. And 25 cents and I have used two of these so for $12.50 you can get a great foundation to start your mantelpiece for the Mardi Gras season and how I created this is I put three screws in the top of the mantle so I put a screw here on the left side one on the right side and one in the center to anchor down and secure my teardrops on the mantle if you do not want to put uh, screws in your mantle I understand I don't want to do that at home you can put command hooks or some type of adhesive to really secure this because you want to make sure your foundation for your um, you know your decoration is secure on your mantle before you begin because there's nothing worse than getting started getting halfway through and then your stuff falling off in the floor so what you want to do is put your screws or your um, command hooks on the mantle and then you want to take your teardrops or your garland or whatever you want to use and for the teardrops that we've used here I've taken two and we're going to put them back to back so I've put one like this with the larger center here and I've tapered it off to the left hand side and then I've taken it here and then I've turned it around and put one on this side. So we've created a foundation here. So I'm gonna have Dina kind of go up close and show you guys what we've done here. All right guys, so again, I wanna remind you, if you have any questions or comments, please put those in the down bar while you're watching today, your name and where you're watching from, because I love to interact with you guys while we're doing the video. So now before we do anything else, I wanna remind you, it's great to get organized before you do any type of decorating project, whether it be for Christmas, whether it be for Mardi Gras, like we're doing today. So I'm gonna have Dina stand over, and we have taken just a basic table, and we have taken all of our materials that we're gonna to use today, and we have laid them out by color, by type of material so we have our picks and sprays here our floral components and we worked our way down with our ribbon some cute little jester and posable elves that we have here and then our ornaments at the end and also we have our glue gun here and our um, wire cutters and our scissors here so again it's very important that you definitely get prepared before you do your project because the more organized you are the better outcome that you're gonna have during your project so guys, just like on the Christmas garland or any other garland that we do here, um, I always like to start with ribbon, okay? And also, before you um, put your ribbon on, if you wanna add lights to your garland, um, this is the time that you wanna add lights. And Mardi Gras, you definitely wanna make it as gaudy as you can, okay? Christmas, you kinda can overdo it, so 
you know, you want to make it as tasteful and as classy as you can, but Mardi Gras, you do want to do that as well. Make sure you keep that in mind, but you also can really just, you know, do it over the top and make it gaudy because if you've ever been to New Orleans, I mean, there's gaudy garlands, and I mean, it's just, that's what uh, Mardi Gras is all about. It's all over the top. So if you want to add lights and really just, you know, add that extra something, now is the time to add the lights. I'm not going to add those today, but if you do want to add lights, please add the lights before you add anything else to the garland. Now is the best time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our ribbon into the garland, guys. And I add ribbon into my garlands by just making some two-loop bows. Okay, guys, so here's an example. I've used two different kind of ribbons. And, of course, this is Mardi Gras season, so we've got to find some ribbon with some Florida leaves on it, okay? Mardi Gras colors are the purple, the green, and the gold. And I've used two different ones. This is more of a velvet material, and this is more of a metallic material. I like to mix my patterns and my materials and my textures and I made two uh, loops therefore I have two different patterns and it makes a great little nesting material to stick inside of my garland okay so I'm gonna do an example and show you guys once how I created this two loop bow and again I want to remind everybody as we're doing this please don't be shy please ask me any questions that you have guys about this and I will do the best I can to answer those questions so here I have those two um, ribbons that I have used. I want to remind everybody, all of this uh, Mardi Gras ribbon and mesh is 50% off, so great time to come in and get this. So once you have your two ribbons picked out and you don't have to use these, any Mardi Gras ribbon that you select is going to be great. Let them drop to the floor. Okay? And yours, of course, will be full rolls, but I've already used these to you know, tie my bows over here. So I'm just going to overlap them on top of each other. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail here, you know, so the longer uh, ribbon you leave, the longer the tail is going to be. You don't need that long of a tail right here. You don't want it hanging off the floor like some long hair or something. So you want to definitely leave it probably about six to eight inches. Okay, you're going to pinch it together and you're going to make, go ahead and, and take those rolls off of there. All right. Okay, you're going to pinch it together and you're going to make your loop, guys. So again, I left a little bit of a tail, about six to eight inches, okay? I made my loop, and then I pinched it together again, and you're gonna twist it, okay? Twisting it really helps hold that in, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie, uh, you're gonna take a pipe cleaner, or you're gonna take a piece of wire, or even a twist tie, guys, you can use a twist tie too, and you're gonna, twi you're gonna tie this off where you have your fingers. Don't let go of this, because if you do, you're gonna lose this out of your hand. So I have a pipe cleaner here, I like to use pipe cleaners because I get a better grip on them than a, rather than a piece of wire. You're going to lay this pipe cleaner where I have my finger, okay, just like that, and you're going to tie it off just like you would, you know, a piece of bread or something, or a loaf of bread. You're going to tie it very tight so that when you begin to pull and place this into your garland, it does not come loose. Now once you pull this tight, you know, don't pull it too tight because you can break the pipe cleaner, so make sure you're careful with that, but you do want to, you know, twist it and pull it as tight as you can so that once you place this and once you maneuver this into your garland, it does not come loose. Now guys, um, one thing I want to remind you of is once you get to the end of your roll of ribbon, um, please remove this tape. This is trashy, okay? You do not want tape or any of that stuff or tags. I want to remind you at the beginning, you know, um, you're going to see a few tags here in the store as I do things. That's because, you know, things here are for sale. But at your home, oh my God, please do not have tags hang it off the mantle. If I come in your house, I'm going to rip those off. All it takes is a pair of scissors and just put those tags even off your cords because those you might not think are visible, but once you get back and somebody, it will just catch your eye. So clip those tags, clip that off the edge of your ribbon, and now you have made a two loop bow, guys, okay? And then you just take those ribbons and you pull them apart. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our two loop bows and pull them apart. And guys, also, once you have placed and secured your um, teardrops up onto your mantle, make sure you touch each and every piece of greenery and fluff it. There's nothing worse than having um, a smashed up piece of greenery on your mantle to start with. You want to have it all fluffed and you want to have a nice foundation to start with before you place anything else in your mantle, okay? So we're going to start in the center. We're going to take one of our two-loop bows and guys, that pipe cleaner that we put on there you're going to use those pieces and that is how you're going to anchor and secure this and nest it into your garland. 
and it's very important that word nest because you want to nest it and you know really set it deep off into there so that the edges of your loops come up to the edge and tips of your greenery okay so we're going to take this first piece and we're going to set it right here in the middle and we're going to tie it can Dina get closer so y'all can see we're going to use the pipe cleaner and we're going to tie it around one of those pieces of greenery that is on our teardrop tie it very tight so that as you move stuff around and as you add more materials in your garland it stays and we're going to pull those apart and pull these other two pieces of ribbon apart as well all right so i'm going to back up and kind of let her get in there and show you guys what we've got going so far hey pam i see you're watching girl you need to come in and see me i haven't seen you in a while all right guys, so this is our first piece of, um, or our first tulip bow that we've placed in our garland. As you can see, we started in the middle of our garland. It's very important because we wanna, we wanna make sure that we keep our shape good, okay? So we wanna start in the center, kinda taper our way out just like the teardrops do themselves. So we're gonna- Susan Childers is asking, can you do this on the table as a centerpiece? Hey Susan, that's a great question. Thanks for watching today. Yes, you definitely can. Um, I do this at home, I did it for Christmas. I took a, probably about a four foot garland. It was a flock garland. I laid it across my table. I took about four of these tulip bows. I nested them in there. I added a few more components and I put an owl in the center. And then I also put some battery operated candles and I just set them around and it made a great centerpiece and it stayed there all through the holidays. So yes, thank you so much for your question, Susan. So guys, again, um, Susan just asked a question. If any of you um, have questions or comments, please put your name where you're watching from in the down bar. Dina's going to relay those to me. You know, don't feel, feel free to interrupt, guys. I'm here to answer your questions uh, while we do this video. Pam says, I will soon. All right, thanks, Pam. I can't wait to see you. All right, we're going to take our uh, second tulip bow, guys. Okay. Make sure you, you know you really shape and fluff it. And we're going to pull them apart. Now we're gonna go probably about six inches from that first one, you know, over here to my right. And we're gonna nest it in there just like we did the first one. You know, use that pipe cleaner, really get down in there and tie it off around that greenery. And guys, you might be looking at this video going, you know, oh, I don't like Mardi Gras and I don't really want to do this, but you can use this same technique for different seasons. You don't have to necessarily use it and do it for Mardi Gras. You can use this for Easter. Easter's upcoming as well. We've got lots of cute Easter stuff coming in, Valentine's. You can, you know, use your Christmas uh, greenery for everything. You know, um, I use my Christmas greenery for all year long. I leave it on my mantle because once you get all these materials on this greenery, you won't see the greenery. And people won't know it's Christmas greenery, but it makes a great foundation for all of these embellishments that you put on it throughout the year. And you don't always have to plug the lights in so you won't know that it's Christmas. All right, so now we've added our second piece of um, our two loop bow in there. Okay, so now we have two. So now we're gonna go to the opposite side and add our third. Okay. So again, we're gonna take this other one. Did everybody have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year? Lynette Bailey, would this look good in a garland around the outside of her door? Yes. This, what was her name? Lynette. Hi, Lynette. Thanks for watching today. Um, yes, definitely. You can use the same technique for the table like Susan asked, or you can use it um, for different places in your home, whether it be around your door, whether it be your mantle like here, your table. Um, you know, you can use this um, in different lengths and sizes as well. So if you put it like on a, you know, a longer garland um, for oh, a shoulder, there's going to show you an example. But you know, you could put it around an 18 foot door, which is like a standard size door, put your garland up first and then use these two loop bows. These are great fillers, okay? Because you put these in first and then you go back and you fill in with different materials like I'll show you here soon. So thank you for your question, Lynette. All right, guys, we're gonna move over to the left side. We're gonna add this one and I'm gonna switch sides here. And we're gonna add this in. So who's already taken their Christmas stuff down? Put your name in the down bar and tell me if you've taken it down or not. I just took mine down a couple days ago and it made me really sad. I mean, I was kind of ready for it to go, but I kind of wasn't. My house is, is naked and bare now, but I'm kind of ready for the next season. I love Easter, so I'm looking forward to spring. And um, this, this cold weather, though, has got to go. I can't deal with it. Oh, stepped on it. All right, guys. So I've added this third... Um, Three loop, three loop bow. 
So I'm going to back up, let Dina scan over that and show you guys what that looks like so far. All right, so we're going to add two more guys. We're going to add one at each end, okay? Now this is the easy part. Everybody can do this at home. So um, I want everybody to, um, once they do theirs, even if it's not for Mardi Gras, even if you use this technique for, you know, for Valentine's, like I said, or Easter, um, tag us in your photos. Send us private messages on Facebook, um, on our Instagram, at Ellis Home and Garden. I want to see your pictures and what you do with these techniques that you learn here. Okay, we're going to go to the very end here. You know, nest it deep into the garland. Jamie Culverhouse and Norma Wilson have already taken theirs down. Okay, guys. Are you adding anything else up in its place? All right. So we put that one on the right. We're going to add one more on the left side. And as you can see, guys, as I'm adding this, it's already filling out that garland tremendously. So see, a little ribbon can turn a blank canvas into, you know, it can make it come a long way. And don't be afraid to really get in here and move it around and work your ribbon once you get it in here. Don't be afraid to touch it. You know, once you tie it in there and get it, you know, placed in there the way you want, you can really just get in there and work it and then, you know, get the, the look that you're wanting to achieve. All right, so I'm gonna back up, let her scan over it one more time before we move on to the next step so that guys, if you're doing this with us for some reason, or if you're just now watching, we started with a blank um, canvas, which was a two teardrops we put back to back to make a foundation, and we added our ribbon in, guys. All we did was make two loop bows. If you're just now watching, you can uh, rewind to the beginning of the video. I showed you how to do those two loop bows. We added five in this. This is a six foot mantle. So we've added five two loop bows in this, and it made our um, great foundation for where we have begun. Susan Childers is asking how much ribbon do you buy for this project? Hi Susan, that's a great question. All this is 10 yards. So it's two yards of ribbon. So here is one roll here, so this is five yards. It's $9.99 and then all of our ribbon's 50 off. So it costs 10 bucks for um, 10 yards of ribbon. And all we did was make the five bows out of the 10 yards of ribbon. So it cost you 10 bucks to do the ribbon step. And if you don't have any existing Christmas greenery guys, if you're just watching, these teardrops we have left over from Christmas. Here's one right here. They're on sale for $6.25. All we did was take two of them. We put one right here this way. We turned the other one this way. So for $12.50, you can have your greenery. For $10, you can have your ribbons. This is a very inexpensive project. All right, so we're going to move on to our next step, which is going to be our um, ornaments or balls. And this right here is a great way to repurpose your Christmas decorations. You know. Now, if you do whimsical, if you do red and white, let's not put those in the Mardi Gras. That's not going to look good. But if you do more of a traditional like red, green, and gold, use that green and gold stuff over and get your money's worth. Okay, use it for Mardi Gras. If you celebrate Mardi Gras and if you decorate heavily for Mardi Gras, use those ornaments. Like, look here. These are actually Mardi Gras ornaments that we sell, these green and gold ones. But we sell these same ornaments for Christmas. So if you've got these on your tree for Christmas, take them off, set them, set them aside, and use them, repurpose them, and use them for Mardi Gras decorations. So um, we're gonna use these, and we're gonna use the purple ones, and then we have a pattern here as well. We're gonna use all of this stuff for our Mardi Gras mantle. And how we're gonna attach these today, guys, is a hot glue gun. And the reason I'm using a hot glue gun is because I'm gonna price this stuff to sell out as one whole thing. But at your house, if you like to change it up like me, I'm not gluing my stuff in there. So you can use a pipe cleaner, or you can use an ornament hook, or some other way of attaching it, but I'm gonna use a glue gun here, which you can do that at your house as well. It's a great way to secure it, and it's fast. So, we're gonna start by taking one of our, our um, multicolor balls here. It's got the purple and the green on it. It's got a string, but I'm just gonna clip that string off, and I'm gonna use my glue gun. I'm just gonna place some glue around the top of the ornament. If you are using glue, be careful, it will burn you to death. We're just going to place that ball inside of the garland, pretty snug. 
And as you can see, I like to use the pattern because it, and I put it kind of beside that tulip bow that we made because it brings out the pattern in there and they kind of combine with each other. So I'm going to have Dina kind of scan up on that and show you guys there. If you're just watching, guys, we're coming to you from our Longview store. We're showing you how to transform your mantle um, into a Mardi Gras mantle. If you're like me, we took down all the Christmas decorations. My house is boring and it looks naked. And I'm showing you what you can use uh, to spruce up your mantle for Mardi Gras. It's the upcoming season. It's what's coming next. Uh, Christmas is over. Reuse, repurpose those Christmas decorations that you have. And uh, let's use them for Mardi Gras, guys. Get uh, If you're like me, I ball on a budget all the time. So I've got leftover... Um, gold balls, green balls from Christmas. I've got some leftover floral components and I'm just gonna, I set those to the side when I took down my Christmas stuff and I'm repurposing them and I'm using them in this garland. So I'm adding in my ornaments. Carmen Hinojosa wants to know, do you know when Mardi Gras is? Hi Carmen. Girl, I do not know when that is. I need to look into that. I think it's sometime, do you know when it is? February. I think it's sometime in February, but I think they celebrate it different times in different places. Like New Orleans is a different time in Jefferson. Um, so I'm not sure. I've never been actually to Mardi Gras either. I would love to go just to eat because I heard they have great food in New Orleans. But if you've ever been to New Orleans, guys, um, during Mardi Gras, put your comment in your name below. I'd love to know and let me know where I should go eat at because I do want to plan a trip and go there for sure. Janet Shepard, are you going to do a Valentine's decor video? Hi, Janet. I definitely can uh, see what I can do. We're just now starting to get in our Valentine's decor. And guys, any other decorating videos that you want to see us do here at Ellis, please put those um, comments down below in your name and uh, what you'd like to see here because you know this is the first time during the spring season that we've done decorating videos I love to hear your ideas I love to you know get as many uh, videos and as much material out there as I can so definitely put those ideas out there and I will see what I can do but I definitely I love Valentine's Rebecca Kaufman Mardi Gras is February 13th oh there you go guys so February 13th is Mardi Gras so it's right around the corner so again now is the time to take advantage of these sales. Mardi Gras stuff is 25 to 50% off of our decor and our florals and our ribbons. Um, and you can also repurpose your Christmas decorations, whether it be your balls and your florals. So come in, let one of our talented designers help you out. We've also got great teardrops and wreaths pre-made up from our uh, talented production team. Um, here's a little preview here, Dina, can you scan up? So these are only $29.99. There's some bell swags, guys. They're great for your front door or above your mantle. And we also have some awesome wreaths here. They've got great beading on them, some balls. These are made up, again, from our talented production team. These are $32. And the um, teardrops there are $29.99. As you can see, we're kind of finishing out this area with those on each side of our mirror. And then we put the wreath on our mirror as well. All right, so if you're just joining us, I'm adding in our balls, and I'm attaching these and securing them in our garland with hot glue. Now, if you're just doing this at home, you don't have to put um, hot glue on them, you know, because you don't want to mess up your garland. But I'm doing this to sell at the store, so I am using hot glue. But you can use pipe cleaners to attach it or floral wire, or you can even use zip ties at home. But this is a great way to you know really dress up that boring naked mantle now that Christmas is over and again February 13th is when Mardi Gras is so here's some golden green balls again if you use golden green on your traditional Christmas tree you know repurpose these set them to the side if you haven't already taken down your Christmas stuff and let's use them on our mantle so this is what I did I set these to the side when I took down my Christmas stuff I'm gonna now use these on my mantle so we're gonna use the gold ones next we've already uh, if you're just watching, we've added our ribbon in already. It was our first step, and we added in our um, multicolored balls, and now we're going to add some solids. So we're going to add a little glue at the top. And there's no wrong or right way to add ornaments into the garland. I would recommend, you know, kind of nesting them farther into the garland. It makes a better impact. Um, so, you know, stick them farther up in there. But just kind of put them in, you know, all around. And make sure whatever you put in the front of the garland, you put in the back as well. You don't want the whole garland falling off on the floor. That ain't cute. So, you know, put, you know, balls in the front and in the back of the garland and spread them out from left to right and really make it even. And sometimes, like I always say, Things might look good here, but always step back from your project, take a look from, you know, back there, and then come back up and, you know, continue working. And 
and I want to remind everybody, um, like I've been talking about, you know, it's a great way to repurpose your Christmas materials. We've got a great Christmas clearance going on right now at our store, 75% off all of our Christmas stuff. That includes ornaments, picks and sprays. We've got great wreaths in here and garlands, guys. So, you know, if you don't have a lot of stuff that would work for a Mardi Gras mantle, we've got stuff here 75% off. You can get it for like one to two to three dollars. So, you know, come in and check this out. We've got five locations. Um, you can check out that information on our website at ellishomelearngarden.com or our Facebook page or our Instagram. So make sure you follow us on all that stuff so you can, you know, check us out when we put out new material, new product ideas, and all of that stuff. So again, I've just added hot glue and I'm attaching my ornaments into my garland. And I want to remind everybody, this is Mardi Gras season, so it's okay to be gaudy because um, that's what Mardi Gras is all about. And guys, if you've been to New Orleans, you're in Mardi Gras, um, give me some food options because I really want to make a, a trip there and I need to know where to eat at because um, I love to eat. Clearly, I need to get on Jenny Craig. But I really do love to eat, so y'all go give me some options. And guys, even though Christmas is over, if um, you haven't taken down your, your tree yet, you know, send us a, a private message on Facebook with your decor in it before you take it down because, you know, we did decorating videos and uh, we, some people sent us, you know, their decor and I love to see it. So definitely send, it, send us that still and we would love to see that. Blues Brothers Cafe is awesome. What is it called? Blues Brothers Cafe. Oh, who sent that? Anita Perry. Hi, Anita. Thank you so much. I will write that down, and as soon as I plan a trip, um, I will go eat there, and I will, uh, when we do another video, I will definitely give you a shout out and let you know how it was. I'm sure it is amazing. My sister went for a bachelorette weekend. All they did was eat the whole time. I don't even think they did anything else. All right, so we're just adding, guys, this is our second step in this process. We're just adding some um, of our decorative ornaments. We added some pattern ornaments to begin with, and now we're adding some of our solids. And again, these are some green and gold ones that we repurposed from our Christmas decorations and all of our Mardi Gras decorations range from 25 to 50% off depending on what decoration you pick out. Paula Mots, do we carry the mask? Mardi Gras mask. Hi Paula, girl we sure do. We got a range of them. Look at these. Okay, these are really cool. We got a masquerade party. I thought about wearing this but I'd have a migraine. But um, we've got a range of masks. They range in price. and They're 25% off for all the Mardi Gras decor. We've got small ones like these. We've got some larger ones. We've got some with feathers. So yes, big selection. So come and check those out. Amanda Greenwood, stop by Mother's for breakfast. It's a must. Oh God, I'm starving now. Oh my God, see I have a bad idea. I want to ask for all these places. Now I'm starving. And Anita says you have to have beignets. Yes, beignets. My sister told me that I've got to have those. All right, we're on our last box of ornaments. These are purple. These are fun because they're really gonna stick out. And someone asked about the mask and see like these ornaments they really bring out those colors in the mask and the other materials that we're gonna put in the in the garland so before I put these in I'm gonna have Dina kind of scan up show you guys what we've got going so far I heard that's a good place. Cafe de Monte? Yeah. I, did, I heard that too. Whew, I was starving. I had to get me a cheese it <laughs> Have me a little snack. Okay, we're going to add these purple ones. Ooh, thanks for all these recommendations, guys. This is fun. Beanies and or drag, dragos? Dragos? Yeah. Mm, that sounds good. So, see, all these people have been to New Orleans. You ever been there? No? It's on my bucket list. Yeah. I could have me some uh, beignets and some mimosas. I'll be ready to go for the day. Woo. Okay, so we're going to add these purple ornaments in. Alright. We've got 
got two left. All right. So guys, again, if you have any questions or comments, put your name, where you're watching from today. I just love to know where people are watching from. We've had people watching um, our Christmas videos from what, South Africa, from Australia. Alaska, Australia, all over. It's really awesome to see, um, you know, where we, you know, interact with people from all over the world. Y'all gonna be interacting with me from uh, New Orleans at the beignet shop, because <laughs> that's where I'm beating. All right, so these are our last two ornaments that we're gonna place. As you can see, our um, garland is really starting to fill out. We started with the ribbon and now we've added our ornaments. I'm going to have Dina scan up on that before we continue and show you what we've done so far. Hi, Chris Robbins. We miss you too. You'll have to come back for a visit. I haven't been to San Antonio, but I would love to go. I'd love to go to SeaWorld and the Alamo too, but I don't know about all them stairs. Maybe if they get an elevator. They don't have stairs. They don't have stairs? I thought you'd like climb up. Oh, maybe I have to go to the Alamo. Okay, so now we're going to add our floral components. So I'm going to have Dina scan over at our table. As I told you at the beginning, it's very important that you stay organized before your project because the more organized that you are, the better outcome you're going to have because you won't get frustrated and start cussing like me. So it's very important that you stay organized and keep everything laid out before you begin. So we're going to start with some of our leftover Christmas components. All of these gold stems here and these green ones are all left over from one of my Christmas trees that I decorated. So this is really a bang for your buck. And if you're balling on a budget like me, this is a great way to, you know, decorate throughout the season without spending a fortune. So some of these right here are our Christmas um, locust sprays. If you don't have any of these at home, we have some of these left in our stores, you know, depending, um, I don't know if all of our stores have any have five locations, 75% off. So they're $4.99 and then 75% off. So if you get lucky, we might have a few left. Great time to pick these up. Anything with the Mardi Gras colors, whether it's gold, green, or purple, you know, you can incorporate that and use this to embellish your, your Mardi Gras decorations, whether it be your garland or your wreaths or anything. And if you haven't watched one of my videos before, great tip, great trick that I use all the time to get the bang for your buck is get a pair of wire cutters, okay, and cut your picks and stems in half. You really get two for the price of one. So, you know, just turn your pick around, find a spot in the center of your pick, and then slice it in half without cutting your finger off. But, um, you know, just do it like that, and you have two picks um, for the price of one. And so what you're going to do, make sure just like with the garland, you touch and you um, spread apart each and every piece of your pick or spray. Okay? Add a little hot glue. If you don't um, want to add hot glue because you want to, you know, like I do at my home, you know, change your garland out for each season. You know, you can just place this in your garland at home because nobody's really going to be touching or tugging on it. But up here, you know, you know, customers walk by with their buggy or like I'm clumsy, so I walk by and tear the whole thing off. So, you know, I'm going to add a little hot glue to it here on the end. So we're going to add a little glue, and then we're going to begin adding these into our garland. This is our third step, which is floral. It's my favorite step. Floral is really the step that really is going to make that wow factor you know, begin. So, we're going to find an area and start nesting this into our garland. And as you can see, I didn't just stick that in there. I stuck it in there and then I kind of uh, begin to mold and shape it the way I wanted it to turn out. Diana Collins says that's one of the things she bought when she was in here after Christmas for Mardi Gras. She came and said hi to you. Hi, Diana. Well, good. Like, see, that's a good example for Diana, guys. She came in and picked all this stuff up, and she might not have used it for Mardi Gras, but she could use it for any other season because at these prices, um, let me tell you, I have a confession, y'all, okay? I have a shopping problem, and I buy stuff all the time that I don't ever know when I'm going to use it. But see, I might walk into my storage building one day, and I might go, oh, my God, 14 years ago I bought those red balls, and now I need them. So, see, it's a great time to come in and pick this stuff out because 20 years from now you might use it. <laughs> so, see, that, I mean, it really is. You can never pass up a sale, and I can never pass up a sale. 
especially if they start having champagne when you're shopping. So really, 75% off, you can't pass out these sales. So I put a little hot glue, and we're going to just, again, begin to add these picks and sprays into our garland. You guys, as we're adding all of this stuff, if you have any questions or comments, put those um, in the down bar, and Dina's going to relay those to me. If you guys have any 12-step programs for my uh, shopping problem, you put that in there too. All right, so again, I took my picks and stem. I'm going to cut it in half and get two for the price of one. And as I add my picks and stems, I kind of like to start on one side and then go to the other and then go back and forth and kind of do that as, until I, you know, kind of get a foundation and a, you know, a method going. And everybody's method is different. Everybody's technique is different. You kind of do what's best for you and what works best for you. adding our picks and sprays and guys if you're ever in our store in Longview you better come say hi to me or Dina we'd love to meet you I'm gonna have to show you who Dina is because she won't be on the camera but I'll point her out to you all right so we've added just a few picks so far but I'm gonna have Dina scan up on that and show you guys just what a big impact that's made so far on just the few that we've added. And those, again, are um, just Christmas picks. Hey, Sarah and Samantha, how are you guys? <clears throat> and again, these gold picks that we added are just left over from our Christmas decor. So it's a great way to repurpose that stuff. Um, if you don't, if you're balling on a budget like me, because I'm not, you know, I don't want to spend a fortune on every single holiday because I decorate for so much. So, you know, again, Christmas clearance is happening right now, 75% off, coming to get that stuff. And you can use it, you know, all the time. Okay, so we're going to continue adding our picks and sprays. Again, use your wire cutter, split it in half, and really get two for the price of one. Hope everybody had a good new year. Didn't do anything too crazy. I barely made it until 12 o'clock. I think I was asleep at 12.05. About you? I sleep before then because I had to work the night before. Oh, really? I had to stay awake to watch that, see if Mariah Carey, you know, made it through because, you know, last year was a mess. But she, she made it. <laughs> Alright, so we're adding a little hot glue, guys, again, and we're just continuing to add our picks and sprays all through the garland. Say hi from here. I don't come in front of the camera. Oh, Diana, we won't put you on the camera, girl. <laughs> we just want to say hi to you in the store. But we appreciate you saying hi. And I can't wait to see what you do with all that great stuff that you got on sale next year or in four years, you know, like me. <laughs> you never know when you're going to use it. But I can't wait to see what you do with it. Alright guys, if you can see, this garland is really starting to take shape and fill out. And we've only added one layer of our picks and sprays. And if you know me, one layer is just not going to cut it. We're going to have to put a few layers. And this is Mardi Gras, so we can get away with putting several layers and more and more stuff because um, we want to make it gaudy and fun. And I've got some beads laying over here, and um, we're going to make it just, just really fun and festive for this Mardi Gras season. guys as you can see here I'm lifting up my ribbon and bows that I put on here don't be afraid to touch that stuff that you already have there once you put it here it doesn't mean it's set in stone and it's it's stuck there you know pick it up and re, you know replace it and you know do all kinds of stuff because I'm you know adding some picks and sprays underneath it to really make that ribbon stand out and pop
right, so I've added all of the gold locust sprays, and again, that's something I repurposed from Christmas. So I'm going to have Dina scan over that before we add our next layer of picks and sprays. Guys, if you're just watching, put your name and where you're watching from up below. Any videos that you want to see me do, put those down there too as well. All right, so I'm going to give you a refresher before we begin because some people don't watch from the beginning, which is okay. So what we have done is we took um, a blank mantle, okay? Christmas is over, you took your stuff down, your house is naked. So we took a blank mantle, we put your existing Christmas garland. Some people, like me, I took my Christmas garland, I took the stuff out of it, left it up there. Then we took our ribbon, which was our first step. We took two loop bows, we took five of those. It was 10 yards of ribbon, okay? We put five two loop bows in the garland. Then we added four boxes of balls. So it's four balls each, so 16 balls in the garland. We, uh, one of those was a pattern ball, and then the three other ones was solid ones, whether green, purple, and gold. Again, repurpose the Christmas stuff. Then we added our first layer of picks and sprays. This was something that was repurposed from Christmas. So if you've got a traditional tree, you know, with, with gold or green or purple in it, you know, use that stuff for your garland. Don't put any red in here. But, you know, if you've got gold or something, then, you know, you can use that for this as well. So now we're going to move over. And we have a couple of people watching from the UK. Whoa. Well, hi, guys. What's their names? Let's Jane give a shout Hayden out. Hi, Jane. Andrea Hayden. Hi, Andrea. Thanks for watching, guys. Wonder what the weather's like over there. You put your comment below and tell me how the weather is. It is freaking cold here. It's like, what, 20 degrees? Oh, my Lynn God. Lynn Leatherby is freezing in Chicago. Who is? Lynn Leatherby. Hi, Lynn. Well, girl, I'm freezing here, too. I'm still cold. I walked in out of my car. Oh, my God. I could barely move with y'all. But um, it is freezing. Okay, guys. So, we're going to add our second layer. This is a cool pick and spray we got over there. It's in the Mardi Gras section. And the picks and sprays uh, are 25% off for Mardi Gras. Okay, so we're going to use this. Take the plastic off. All right. Now, if you're watching and you've watched my videos before, you know my tips. You don't just stick it in like this, okay? You want to make sure you pick apart every one because you don't want to look like you just took it out of the package and stuck it on there. Also, look how many leaves this has and how long this is. Now, the mantle is not that big. You don't want to stick this up there like that. That's not a good look. So, <clears throat> we're going to use our wire cutters again. And you can probably cut this three times, okay? So I'm gonna let it drop on the floor. One, uh, two, three. So you get three picks out of uh, one spray. Next time we're gonna do that over the table so I don't have to bend down, but, um, so look, you've got three picks out of that one, okay? This Mardi Gras stuff is 25% off. These are great filler. Look how big these leaves are. It's got all three of those colors that we used in the garland here. It's really gonna help brighten it up and make a great foundation and continue filling in all of that green. Okay, and again, like this is Mardi Gras, we want it to be gaudy, but elegant. These add the elegance that we want to do into the, or you know, add to the garland. So, we are going to, you know, fluff these out, add a little bit of glue. Again, if you don't add glue, that's fine. Just stick it in your garland at home. Add a little glue, and then continue to add your picks and sprays into the garland. Now just kind of maneuver those in there. I'm going to have Dina show you. Right there. We nested them in there. Hi Jane and Andrea. Oh my gosh, it looks like y'all are getting some bad weather. I hope it gets better for you guys. We haven't really had any storms or anything here. It's just been so cold. It's never this cold here. Here in Texas, in Longview, um, it's either really, really hot or really, really cold. And last year, it was really, really hot. We really didn't have a winter. I mean, it was just like muggy and nasty all year long. But um, this year, we were fortunate enough to have a winter that we all wanted. Well, what was I thinking of saying that? Because, oh my God, every time I get in my car in the morning and I'm like shaking, I'm like, what am I thinking? But anyway, all right, we're going to continue to add these Take some sprays in. All right, got another one. Guys, as you're watching, anything you want to know about the garland or decorating, put those comments below. I'm enjoying our conversation today, though. Me and Dana know where we're going to eat when we go to New Orleans. We know where not to go when it's cold. <laughs> we know everything, don't we? So yes. I, I've enjoyed our conversation. This is 
been a good one. You see, while we're talking and while we're doing all this, we can decorate. And you can do the same thing at home. And if it's a little bit later in the day, we could be having a glass of wine. Not a bottle, though, because this garland would not look like this if we had a bottle. <clears throat> but it will be fun. Anita, we're in Long Beach, Texas. Oh, hi, Anita. What's her last name? Parks Ham. Okay. I know Anita. I was going to see if I was the one I know. Well, hey, Anita. Thanks for watching today. Come in and say hi to us later. Jennifer Voss, when you take the garland away, hey, how Jennifer. will you do it? That is a good question, Jennifer. Give me just a second. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Jennifer. When you uh, pack the garland away, if, it's, if you're going to keep it together, like if once we're all done with this, I glue my stuff in. If your stuff is glued in, um, you know, unscrew the pieces from the screws. You know, it's just, I just took a piece of greenery and wrapped it around the screw to anchor it to the, to the um, mantle. You know, undo that, take the garland, and take a glad trash bag. You can buy those big lawn bags that are black, looks like a body bag from Lowe's. And you, <laughs> you can, it looks like Raider Funeral Home coming through. But you can um, place those uh, bags on the floor, take a pair of scissors and cut them until it lays open. Lay your garland, like a body, into the bag, and then you can take the um, trash bag and lay it over the, um, the garland, and then run a piece of boxing tape. And don't do it too tight because you don't want to damage or smash anything, but once you take that trash bag and lay it over, put a piece of tape, then I usually tape my garland, and this is a shorter one, it's only six foot, so it's not that long. And you can take your garland and just lay it on top of one of your crates in the attic or your boxes, or another option, if everything's glued in and you're sure it's secured, you can take it by the end of your garland and hang it up on a screw in your storage building, just have it hanging down. And then you can take that same bag, cut it, cut it up, and then place the bag over the top of it. And all that bag does is just help anything from, you know, getting on it, whether you have insects in there, you know, or like, um, sometimes June bugs will get in your storage building. You know, I've had that happen, which I won't be in there because I'm terrified of June bugs. I'll run like a girl, but um, you know, or it helps dust also, you know, keeps dust off of them as well. So, glad trash bags, a great way to do it. It's better than, you know, keeping it in a crate. Um, but that works the best to do it like that. And actually, I have a couple here like that. And on the next video that I do, or I'll even have a picture. I'll post a picture on the Facebook page. You can kind of get a better look. But um, that's what we do here as well. So, thanks for your question. Jane, yes, it is artificial. The greenery. Oh, yes. So, guys, again, we're just adding in our second layer of picks and sprays. And a, a thing I like to do is I like to put a couple in my hand like this, different. Let me get another glue stick. And I like to, it's easier than just going back and forth one at a time. So, you can just put a little glue on there. And then you can put them both in there at the same time. We're just going to continue to add these picks and sprays. And as you can see, those leaves are really starting to give this some color. I'm going to open up another one. I'm going to have Dina scan closer so you can see. All right, we're going to continue adding. Guys, it's really starting to get fuller. I appreciate you sticking with us and watching today. I'm having a lot of fun. I appreciate all of your comments in the conversation. Diana Collins says dry cleaners sell their bags and so you can see what's inside of them. Diana, that is a good um, idea. And that would work uh, good. It's even got zippers on it. I didn't think about that. You could just zip your stuff up in there. And again, just take it and lay it on top of your storage containers in your building or your um, attic, and that would work really, really well. So, uh, what was your name, Jennifer? The ask, Jennifer Boss. Yes. Yeah, Jennifer Boss. Um, that's a good idea. Go to the dry cleaners if you don't want to do the trash bag idea, and that will work out well. Guys, what other seasons do you decorate for? If you're not a Mardi Gras fan, um, put 
your names, and what other seasons you decorate for below. Because I can take those comments and what other seasons you decorate for, and I can put together some other material and other um, decorating videos to um, help you out as well. So if you're not a Mardi Gras fan, and even if you are, but even if there's another video you'd really like to see, like Easter, Valentine's, home decor, spring, put those below with your name so I can give you a shout out and thank you for the recommendation and see what I can do. St. Patrick's Day. Dina said St. Patrick's Day. I would like to do St. Patrick's Day. I love it because I love green. It's one of my favorite colors, but we don't get much St. Patrick's Day stuff here. But I know Easter is going to be a big one. Um, I love bunnies. And so we'll do multiples, whether it's, you know, wreaths and garlands and arrangements, all kinds of different material, different decorating ideas you can do with Easter stuff. So, um, you know, that will definitely be a hit and it will definitely be something that we will do. But anything else that you want to do, even if it's home decor, you know, um, put uh, your name and what kind of video you want to see, you know, below. And I will take that into account when, when putting these schedules together. And follow us on our Facebook page because I'm going to post all that info on there as well. All right, last one of these. Again, all of these Mardi Gras picks are 25 off. And you're really, on this one, getting three out of one because I am cutting it three ways. And then after we do this one, we're going to be on our third layer of florals for this Mardi Gras mantle. Kathy, our nan dance, how much is the wreath? Hi, Kathy. The wreath above here is from our, our awesome production team. It's $32. And then we also have some beautiful teardrops here from our production team. They're $29.99. And those are great um, to, you know, accessorize on each side as we've done here of your mantle and your mirror. If you have a mirror or a picture above your, your mantle. All right, we're going to add our last one in here. And then I'm going to have Dina scan it for me before we add anything else to kind of give you guys a, a close-up look before we do anything. Now, now's a good time to ask any questions before we move along. You know, if you're at a stopping spot, if you're doing this with us, some people have came in and told me they actually do their, do their mantle or do their decorating with us. So if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to ask that while we're doing this. You know, and also, like I, you know, as Dina scans up, I, what I'm doing is I'm taking that time and I'm stepping back away from my project and I'm looking at it from a, um, you know, back there because sometimes things look different. And I, what I did is I come up here and I adjusted this ribbon because sometimes things look different. So don't be afraid to touch stuff once you've already put it in here because something is always, you're always able to adjust things once you place them inside the garland. All right. Is so, that Bradley? I'm into purple for Christmas, and this fits her theme. Thanks for the ideas. I'm in Chicago. Where can I find the leaves? Hi, Yvette. You have to get them in our store, unfortunately. Um, but Yvette, let me tell you what. Put your uh, send us a private message on Facebook with your information, your name, and um, your phone number. Do that for me in your email address, Yvette. Again, send us a private message on Facebook. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, to this private message and I'll see what I can do for you because those aren't available on our website. Our website for everybody who's interested right now is kind of going through a refreshing point because Christmas is over. We're kind of in a transition period. I'm trying to get new merchandise on there, loaded on there, the old stuff off. Um, and so send me that stuff, Yvette, and I'll see what I can do for you to get you those leaves. Kathy Hernandez says she's coming through Longview next week. Can we give her the address so she can stop by? Hi, Kathy. Yes. Send us um, the address here is 3110 Northeast Men Road, but also send us a private message on Facebook, Kathy, and we will send you all of that information as well, and we'd love to meet you. So we want to make sure we know what day you're coming. Put that in that message as well, so me and Dina can make sure we're here so we can give you a hug and tell you hi. All right, guys, we're going to add our, let's see, one, two, third layer of picks and sprays. This is another layer that is left over from Christmas. I'm going to have Dina scan over to our table. These gold sprays right here, these are another leftover item that we're going to repurpose from our Christmas decorations. $4.99, 75% off. In our Longview location, for sure, I know we have tons of these left. So, I'm horrible at math, but let's see. Uh, uh, 75. 75. 
dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tear these apart. So one, two, three, four picks out of one for a dollar twenty-five. So great, great time to take advantage of these sales. Like I said, I have a shopping problem. So even if you're not gonna use them right now, or even if you don't know what you're gonna use them for, you can use gold for a, you know all kinds of stuff for Mardi Gras, for Christmas, everything. And red, guys, you can use red for Christmas, for Valentine's Day, for uh, 4th of July, for Memorial Day. So, you know, you don't always think about this stuff for one season and for Christmas, just because it has Christmas clearance. Think about other things, you know. You can use it for all different kinds of stuff. All right, now we're gonna take this next pick right here. We're gonna take it with our hand and we're just gonna actually pull it apart. And look, it's got a stem on it by itself, okay? We're going to take it and we're going to separate it four ways. And you've got four separate picks for $1.25. That was something we repurposed from our Christmas tree that were 75% off. We're going to take our wire cutters, shorten that stem a little bit, and you got a great gold pick that is now a Mardi Gras pick. We're going to put a little hot glue on there. And then we're going to begin adding it into our garland. Okay, and I'm going to do a few at a time here, so I'm going to you know, cut the stems off, make them a little shorter. Like that. And I'm just going to add them into our garland as we continue. Guys, if you have any questions while we're doing this, please ask them. Website address, Lily. Hi, Lily. Our website is www.ellishomeandgarden.com, and and is spelled out. A and D it doesn't have the um, abbreviation. And guys, our website, even though we're kind of in a transition right now on what we have to sell on there. Um, we have other information on there as well. We have information about our five store locations that we have. We have information about our floral classes. We have information about how our store started, about our background, all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, it's a great website. We've got great other stuff on there. So, um, be sure to check it out. You know, go on there and, you know, check out what we've got on there. All right, so we're going to add some more glue. We're on our third layer of picks and sprays. We're getting closer. Thanks for staying with us, guys. Now I've been talking a lot today, but I've just enjoyed our conversation and I've enjoyed, you know, interacting with you guys. I love doing these videos and I could talk all day. Yes, you can. <laughs> all right. remind everybody that we do offer custom work so um, you know if you've got some stuff at home that you want to have one of our talented designers do at all five locations bring that stuff in and we will definitely work on that for you we do custom arrangements and wreaths um, you can bring existing stuff in or we can pick everything out here at the store and we do it for all seasons whether it's spring whether it's summer Christmas or fall we do funeral work uh, it's all artificial, so, um, you know, our talented designers do an awesome job. So, you know, bring that stuff in and let's see what we can create for you and your home or your business. Barbara Clouser says you're really good at this. Did you train or are you a natural? Hi, Barbara. Thank you so much. No, ma'am, I did not train. I just, um, I just love talking to people and I, I love what I do and I love decorating. So, thank you so much though, for your sweet comment. So again, this is our third layer that we're adding here. And I'm going to remind everybody again, if you're not fond of Mardi Gras, that's okay. Let's just use these same techniques for other, um, other seasons. You know, I use the same technique for the Christmas videos that we did. And guys, even if Christmas, even though Christmas is over, um, I think about Christmas all the time. And I can go back and I can watch Christmas all the time because I like to prepare for the next season and the next year. And you can find all of those Christmas decorating videos that we did on 
our um, Ellis Facebook page at Ellis Home and Garden. Just scroll back through our news feed. It's going to be back in about, what, October, November when we did those. Um, we did um, whole mantle transformation. So we did the teardrop, the wreath, the, the garland. We did um, a bow tying video. And the bow tying video is Christmas, but you can use that same technique for spring bows and summer bows in every season. So take advantage of that, guys, and scroll back and use that stuff and, um, you know, incorporate it into your everyday design. All right, we're adding our last one of these. We're getting closer to adding the fun stuff, which is like the mask and the beads, the real gaudy stuff. Um, so we're getting there. But thanks again for spending your morning with me. I'm um, actually, after we get done with the video, I'm gonna go take down um, a friend of mine's tree. Um, we do offer interior design here for the holidays, so um, it's never too early to book guys in our Longview and our Bossier city locations. Um, we go into your home or your business and we decorate for you. So if that's something that you think you'd be interested in, come in and let's get a console. It's never too early to, to talk about it. Like I said, I could talk about Christmas all the time. We've got some exciting stuff on the books for next year. Some exciting merchandise coming in. Um, I'm already excited about it. I'm already thinking about it, even though it's January, because I mean, next year's going to be here before we know it. That's why it's just a, such a good idea to take advantage of these sales. Texas. Who? Lily. Hi Lily. Thanks for watching today. Come in and see us. Let me fill your buggy up with <laughs> all this simple stuff. Okay. Alright guys, that was our third layer. I'm going to have Dina scan up for you so you can see this is really starting to fill out as we continue. And, you know, while she continues to scan up, I just want to remind everybody that we just took some teardrops that we had left over, guys. They're at $6.25. We put two up there for $12.50. We had a great foundation. We secured it with some screws. Um, we didn't put lights in this, but, you know, you could always add lights to really give it that pop. And then we've just been adding picks and sprays and fun stuff for Mardi Gras. And you can do this with your existing um, Christmas decorations. Repurpose that stuff. You know, take advantage of these sales. Don't just put your stuff up in the attic. Look at it before you do that and then let's add it to your mantle because um, if your house is like mine, it's naked and it's bare right now because Christmas is over and it's like, ugh, when you come home. So, you know, let's burst it up and take advantage. All right, so we're going to add, let's go over here to our table. We're going to add, let's see, a few more things. These few balls. And then we're going to add some fun stuff. We've got these little trees here. Looks like a little pineapple on top. Got these fun posable elves. They look like Liberace or something. <laughs> and then we've got some beads and these fun masks. Okay, so we're gonna add these um, these, these ball picks here as well. These are Mardi Gras here. So these are. Let's see. The Mardi Gras floral is 25% off. Now, this looks like one of those. Remember those things at the doctor's office when you were a kid and has <laughs> the balls on them? That's what this reminds me of. So just um, you know, straighten these out best you can. They're meant to be crazy and fun. Uh, don't poke your eye out. That would not be good. I spit my gum out before we started. I told Dean, I said, oh my God, what if I choked on my gum during this video? I said, that would be horrific. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to cut it in half just like I do with most of my picks and sprays because this is too long for this garland. We're going to cut it in half. Make sure you have some good strong wire cutters, guys. You can get some good ones at Lowe's um, because if not, you're going to hurt your wrist. Um, okay, we're going to cut these in half, therefore we have two um, ball picks out of one, okay? Put a little glue on there. Again, if you don't have, um, if you don't want to glue or really um, permanently secure something in there, that's fine. But here at the store I do, because if I didn't glue this in, I would have already tore this off on accident with my elbow. Um, okay, glue this in, we're just going to begin adding these in. And these are fun because you can stick this in and then really pull this apart. It gives it height and dimension and it's fun. It gives it that fun factor. Okay? Jenny Florentine, do you teach classes and do you decorate for weddings? What was her name? Junie. Hi, Junie. Thanks for watching today. 
Um, I don't teach the floral classes, but we do offer classes here. We have a few left, I think, for this January, and then we'll be offering some more in March. You can find that information on our website. Um, and I don't decorate for weddings, unfortunately. Um, but thanks for your questions. All right, we're going to continue, guys, adding these in. Again, these are fun. That's why I left them until the end because they just add height. And that, you know, it's just really, I love these. These are Mardi Gras picks, 25% off. Come in and check this stuff out. And at the end of this video, guys, I'm going to show you we took a, a Christmas tree. One of our designers here at the store took a Christmas tree and we repurposed it and we made a Mardi Gras tree. So look, we have, we have um, clients and we have customers coming here all the time who leave their tree up all year round and they just repurpose it and redecorate it for every season. Now I can't do that in my house because my dogs would tear the tree down. All right, but you know, some people can and uh, it looks really good. And we did it here with the Mardi Gras tree and Mardi Gras decoration. And I'm gonna show you that in the video. And we're almost there. So again, I'm just adding these ticks and sprays in. I'm so excited. This garland is turning out really fun and really cool. And as you can see, it's fun, but it's also got that elegant factor. And we took that Christmas stuff that we repurposed and reused and put in this, like these leaves and these awesome Mardi Gras leaves, and it really added that elegant factor into the garland that we're decorating today. And as you continue to watch, guys, if you're just joining us, put your name where you're watching from. I love to connect with people. We had people earlier from the UK. We've had people from South Africa all over the place. We have people from New Orleans. I cannot wait to go eat. I'm so hungry. Uh, they gave me food recommendations. Me and Dina, I mean, we're ready to book a flight. We're so hungry from all this stuff. So, you know, I appreciate connecting with you guys and, you know, sharing where you're from and your name and all of that stuff, guys. Look at these. These are really cool. They're a little bit different. They have uh, the green and the purple, but they have some black in them. So look, I think this is probably something you could use for Halloween, but you could also use it for Mardi Gras. And it's got black in it, but that's cool. It's something different. I mean, I like to add black to everything. I like to add black to Christmas, for Halloween, for fall, and I also like to add it for Mardi Gras. It's just something fun and different. It's not something you see every day. And I get so like, ugh, like bored and just stuck with the same basic stuff. So this is something I saw over there on the aisle. And I picked it up and thought it would just be something fun and different. And you can do the same thing at your home. So it's a great way to really, you know, add that something different. So when people come in your home or your business and they're like, wow, you know, never seen that before. Again, we're going to take this and cut it in half. Okay. So we're going to add these last four picks. And then we're going to add the fun stuff, and then we're going to be finishing up, guys. So thanks for sticking with us. All right. So see, we added that one right in the middle, and look at that black. It really adds a pop. I'm going to have Dina scan up, guys, and show you what that looks like. Again, there's no wrong or right way, guys. I just love these balls because they're really fun and they really add a pop at the end. That's why I'm saving them. And we've talked about the food, guys, at Mardi Gras. We've talked about where to eat. Um, Who's actually going to Mardi Gras? Rebecca said it's on February 13th in, in New Orleans. So who's going? If you're going, just give us a thumbs up or give us, you know, give us a thumbs up or give us a heart, you know, whatever you want to do. But let us know you're going. Um, we'd love to know. Maybe me and Dina will see you there if we go. You know where we'll be. We'll be eating all the time, the whole time. We're drinking. <laughs> but we'll, drinking. Yeah, drinking. While we're eating those, uh, all that food that we uh, all those people suggested. Yeah, give us a thumbs up if you're going. 
February 13th is when Rebecca said uh, it was going to be. They also have one in Jefferson, don't they? They celebrate over there. My grandparents have a bed and breakfast over there um, in Jefferson. Uh, I've never been to that one either in Jefferson. I need to get out more. I'm usually in bed by 10 o'clock watching TV. All right, one more of these. And we're going to be adding the fun stuff. Okay. Shreveport I'm gonna... does a good one, too. Shreveport, yeah, that's another. So, three. Dang. Okay, so, yeah, three of them. So, everybody's mantle should be decorated for um, Mardi Gras. Okay, guys, we just added our the fourth layer. Fourth layer of picks and stems for the garland. That's our final layer, okay? So, we've got a few things we didn't even use. So I'm going to have Dina scan over this before we add the fun stuff, guys, and we're getting near the end. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. All right, so this is like um, the basic foundation for your garland, okay? We started with the basic, we added the ribbon, we added the balls, we added the floral. Now we're going to add fun stuff. It's Mardi Gras, it's fun, it's gaudy. If you've ever been to Mardi Gras, I haven't been. I've watched it on TV, I've seen pictures, I've seen things I don't want to see in pictures, um, and I've always seen people come back with wads and wads of beads, okay? So, we got to have beads on there. I mean, I'm, I'd come back with a black eye probably because I'd be like, throw me a bead. After me and Dina have been drinking, we come back with all these beads, and so I'd have a black eye. But, um, you know, they always have beads, so we've got to have beads hanging from our garland. So I have two different kinds here. This comes in the Mardi Gras decorations, but guys, repurpose your Christmas decorations. They have gold bees on your tree. Okay, take those off your tree, put them on your Mardi Gras decor. They use them in the, in the wreath here. They use them in the teardrop over here. Everywhere. You've got to have beads when you use when you do Mardi Gras decoration. So, we're going to use these on the garland. We've got gold and purple. Let me open these up. I tried these on my tree one year. Y'all did not want to be there because I had them so tangled up around my feet that I nearly fell through the tree and it was like a Christmas vacation moment. It was not good. <laughs> and so the, the beads went out in the front yard and it was not a good Christmas, but that's not going to happen today because we're on Facebook Live. But <laughs> Okay, so we've got the beads here and we're just going to like, you know, wrap them up. Actually, let's do two at one time. I think that, well, no, let's do one at one time. All right. So how we're going to attach these guys is we're just going to use the existing greenery that's on our, our mantle. And we're just going to tie this up on the end. Let's leave it hanging a little bit. Just like that. And then we're going to droop them. Guys, if you use, if you use beads um, on your tree or your mantle, give us a thumbs up and let us know. If you've had a horrible experience um, with beads, leave us a comment and let me know so that I'll know that I'm not the only one that's had a temper tantrum over this in my house. But we've got to do it because it's Mardi Gras. So we're being optimistic today. Okay, so we're going to continue to add these beads. <clears throat> okay. And again, we're just attaching them by using the existing um, stuff. Okay. We're going to use our scissors if they're a little bit long, and we're going to clip them off like that so they're even. Okay. I think I just broke my knees. Okay, now we're gonna, now we're going to do the purple one. That looks pretty good. See, now why couldn't that happen when I did my Christmas tree? It just didn't work out for me, guys. I'm telling you. I was screaming. Oh, my God. My dog got one end of the beads and was carrying out through the house. <laughs> And I was just not having it. It was not a good night. Okay, we got the gold ones up and they look so good. So now we're gonna see if we can get the purple ones up. Okay, so now we're gonna get the purple ones and we're gonna go back with those. Oh, I'm gonna need some Boniva. Okay, now we're gonna get the purple. Go with those. We're going to do them a little bit higher, I think. And really, I don't think there's any wrong or right way to do the beads. Um, it's just your preference because um, I've seen them all kinds of different ways. So, 
like this. I think they're supposed to be like this, maybe. Jane Hayton uses beads on her tree every year. What's her name? Jane. Well, Jane, send us a picture, please. Tag us in a picture on Facebook or send it in a private message I want to see, please. I bet it looks so good. And I'm sure mine would have looked good if I would have just taken patience, but when my dog took off with the beads, I couldn't take it. Could not take it. So tag us in a picture or send it on Facebook, and I want to see. All right, so we're going to continue with purple. Mine are probably all going downhill. Are they going downhill? No. Okay. So see here, we're continuing, and then we're going to get to the end right here. Oh, my God. See, Jane, this is the problem. We got a little, oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyway, but it's Mardi Gras, so it can be gaudy and fun. <laughs> okay. So we got our beads, guys. That was a little special, but um, <laughs> it's okay. So, Dina's going to scan over that, starting here, and she's going to show you um, the beads that we have on the mantle. And see, it really adds funness to, or funness, I made that up. It really adds some fun to the mantle for Mardi Gras, and as you can see, it incorpor we incorporated them in the, the wreath and in the fun swags, so it really, you know, completes this whole area. Now, we're not done yet, because we also have these fun masks. And we've got these cute little jesters and these trees. Let's do the trees. Oh, Lord, that was a little off Okay, so we're gonna take these trees, everybody. These are in the Mardi Gras section. They're 25% off. We're gonna place them right back here on each side of the edge of the mirror. I like to put stuff, I have lamps on this. I didn't have lamps before on the other um, mirror that I decorated. So I'm going to put them right here at the edge of, on each side of my mirror. Oh, one apart. And we're going to put it on this side. It's like a little gift box. It does. Okay, and now we're going to take our little jesters. Is that what you call them? Liberace here. And these are fun, guys, because they're poseable. They can do the splits. They can, um, like, sit on the edge of the shelf. They can, you know, hold hands. They can do everything. And they've got a little mask on. Aren't they fun? So, um, we can do all kinds of stuff with them. I'm going to actually put them on the lamp, I think. And we don't want to burn their little face off on the bulb. So, we've got to be careful. But, I think... Okay. We can put their arm right here. And see, there's a little, there's a little wire in all of this stuff, and so you can pose them on there. And they're super cute. Let's put his, arm, his leg around one. Don't be crazy. He's okay. Doing the pole dance. Yeah, he's doing the pole dance up here. Look at all that spotlight he's got. Okay. Now look at that. He's super cute on there. Now I'm gonna get the other one. Put him on the other How side. How much are the jesters? The jesters are $29.99 and then 25% off. I really like these. I think I'm going to get some. And these are really cute, guys. These come also in elves and stuff you can buy in places. And look, they're great for lamps. I didn't think about it. I just thought about that. They look good on there. All right, so we're going to put this one on the other side. Um, okay, put him on here. Oh my God, love those. Okay, so there's the gestures. So I'm gonna have her zoom in on those guys. And guys, as you're watching, if you have any questions, please put your comments down below, your name. So we've added our beads, we've added these little trees here with a little pineapple on top, and we've added the gestures on there as well. All the Mardi Gras decor is 25% off. It's a great time to come in and get that. And we got our mask left. Oh, and our crown, we gotta have crown. Crown? Oh, it's about something in my hair. Okay, we have a crown. So we're gonna put that right in the middle. And we're just gonna kinda nest that in here. Okay, got a little crown there. And then we have two masks. And these masks are super fun. Oh my God, wouldn't that be cool on the, on the lamp? So you could take a piece of wire, I don't have a piece of wire with me, but you could take wire and stick that on the lamp and that would be super cool. But we're just going to sit them in the, in the garland. See there? Place it in the garland. All I did was just set it in there. 
got something white hanging there. It looks like she's got cataracts. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna take the other one and put it on this side. Just like that. And guys, check that out. We've done our mantle. So I'm gonna have Dina kind of step back into her shoes to close, show you guys all of that. Again, we took a blank mantle and we added ribbon, we added balls, we added floral beads. Can you believe I did beads? I mean, the end of it looks kind of crazy, but we did beads, we added these gestures on the lamps, and we, we completely transformed this whole area from start to finish into something beautiful, guys. And you can use these same techniques for all season long. So, um, you know, all of this stuff is available here at Ellis repurpose that Christmas decor before you put it up, before you put it in the attic or the shed, look through it, see what you can use, not just for Mardi Gras, but if you've got red, again, you can use that red for Valentine's coming up, you can use it for Memorial Day, you can use it for Fourth of July, all different seasons. And guys, I'm going to take you over and show you a Christmas tree that we took, a, a Christmas tree, we took all of our stuff off of it, and we repurposed it and used it for Mardi Gras. So come with me, and I'm going to show you what we did over there for Mardi Gras. If you have any questions, guys, while we're doing this, put your name down below where you're watching from. Any questions, anything you want to see. I really uh, appreciate you guys watching today. I had a lot of fun. I'm still hungry from all those food comments. All right, so here's a tree, guys, that one of our talented designer, Tina, she did this tree. And we just took a basic nine-foot tree. It was a traditional red and gold tree. She took all the decorations off. She took ribbon, guys, two different types of ribbon. We made four loop bows on here. We did some solid green mixed with a pattern. She put some beautiful sequin cone trees in here, feathers. I mean, you can't do Mardi Gras without feathers, can you? We did feathers. Look at this awesome tree topper. It's got tons of mask in it. It's got Florida Lee picks in it. It's got balls in it. All of those picks are 25% off. And look. It's got those awesome gestures. She nested them inside the tree as well. She also used this beautiful ribbon here that actually says Happy Mardi Gras on it. And look at this big one here. This is another gesture. It's a larger one. It's got a different hat on it as well. So all of this stuff is just really cool. So see, you can take Mardi Gras decorations and do all kinds of stuff with it. You can take it, you can put it on a mantle, you can make wreaths, you can make swags and teardrops like we showed you over there in the other area. And then here, we took this beautiful nine foot tree that was a blank canvas. We took the Mardi Gras decorations that we have that are 25 to 50% off, depending on what kind of decoration you get. And we created, or Tina created this beautiful tree here at the store that you can do in your home and after Mardi Gras is over. If you'd like to and you have the space in your home, you can create another tree for Valentine's and for Easter and for Fourth of July and for fall and before you know it, we'll be back to Christmas. So again, all of this stuff is available here at Ellis Pottery or Ellis Home and Garden. Look at us up on our website at Ellis Home and Garden. We have five locations. Hopefully one is close to you or if you're driving through, guys, hopefully you're close to one of us. Come into Longview for sure and meet me and Dina, guys. Give us a hug. We'd love to watch, I mean, we'd love to meet you. We have people watching from all over the world. Maybe someday some of the people who are watching from Alaska are from on the beach, okay, drinking their martini. Um, we'll come in and we can meet those people too. Hopefully they'll bring us some, um, some chips and hot sauce and a margarita. But we ha I had a great time today. I love meeting and interacting with everybody today. Be sure to like us on Facebook and on Instagram because I'm going to do another video super soon. Um, anything that you'd like to see, any videos that you'd like to see, put those on in the comment section. And um, I'll definitely take a look at those, see what we can get on the books, and do another video for you soon. So I uh, thank you for watching, guys, today. And I want to remind everybody, Christmas clearance is happening right now, 75% off. We've got Christmas trees left. We've got decor left and floral. All of that stuff you can use all through the year. Just because it says Christmas does not mean it's just for Christmas. It can be used all through the year. So come in and see us, guys, and I hope everybody has a fabulous day.